Hello and welcome back to the Intuitive Ones channel here on TikTok, Black Queen Prophetess channel, and Black Queen Prophetess underscore nine on Instagram. Yes, both of them are on Instagram. They're both me. Okay. And the Black Queen Prophetess on YouTube. How are you doing? Today I'll be doing the um, reading of the day. The reading of the day is Leo. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, child. I'm loose right now. Time to get loose. Uh, no diddy. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into your reading and start it off with a prayer. <laughs> Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. I yield myself to you to receive and convey the message you have for Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your message. Thank you for using me, and I pray that my... The message blesses those who hear it. I pray, Holy Spirit, ooh, well, you, you're in, you really got something to say. Okay. That those who hear this message is blessed. In Jesus' name, I pray, man. I, I was starting to talk, and it was like every time I started to shovel, something came out. So he's like, hurry up and finish this when I got something to say. So, so far, what has come out is the King of Spades, which is... um. Aquarius energy here, the Queen of Clubs, which is Aries energy, and Five of Clubs, which there is some change in the workplace, but we shall see because we haven't gotten to the Significator card, which is the topic, and Nine of Hearts here. Mm. Which is... Uh, uh, like a wish come true or something that you've been wanting for a while, but it's definitely some positive end to something. Ah, but the significator card thought has the four spades, and I say ah because every time spades is usually challenges and issues. Um, and the four spades is a card on limitations here. Some of you may have been limited and, and God wants to talk to you about how you may be lim limiting yourselves here. Okay. And because the space is air energy, so you may be limiting yourself in your own mind. Okay. For some of you, um, you are in a mental jail. You're putting yourself in a mental jail, a mental jail by some type of belief system. That's what I'm hearing. But you're getting out because you got this four of um, spades, I mean of clubs, which I heard specifically your get out of jail car. Okay. Okay, you have the nine of diamonds, which is, um, this is an attainment card. So you're going to get, yeah, you got your get out of jail free card. Okay. I'm hearing that you're learning how to manifest. That's the jail. You, you don't even realize that you've been manifesting things. How powerful your mind is, Leo. Your mind is way powerful. And you haven't been using it. Or you have been using it, but you don't realize how You've been using it in the wrong way and it has been entrapping you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can say, I always attract these dusty dudes. Okay? Watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Your words are powerful, but they are, your words are only as powerful as what you believe. And you believe that you only trust, I mean, uh, attract dusty dudes, then you're going to always attract the dusty dudes. 
but I feel like you're coming out of that. You're making the change. You are making the change here and you're getting mental mastery here. This, this king of um, spades is not just Aquarius energy, but a master of the mental. So you are changing your mind, <laughs> basically. Basically, now the king of clubs came out here and uh, that's you. Again, that's also, um, now that you're starting to see like, oh, I've been not doing it wrong, but I've been using it in the wrong way. And you're starting to learn how you're breaking out. You're breaking free. I'm hearing the song, take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise them. Just want to praise them. Yes, take those shackles off your feet, your spiritual feet, your mental feet so that you can dance. Positive thoughts are powerful, just as powerful, if not more powerful than negative thoughts. Okay, the word, uh, the Bible says that the, out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The heart, your mind, that's all a part of your soul. Okay, if you think it, you'll speak it. You've been sitting up and thinking, so start thinking right. Start thinking that you'll win. Start thinking you'll get that role. Start thinking that your career is going to take off, and it will. Okay? People are watching you. Okay, people are watching now. This eight of spades is um, eight is a number of abundance, but this eight of spades is like an investigation. It's going to cause people to look at you like, how did Leo get that? They're going to start noticing. They're going to be starting to question what. All of a sudden, she went from ashy to classy. And it all starts with your thoughts. You know, and people are going to say, if you tell someone about this, your, your key to success is changing how you think, Leo, they're probably going to think you're crazy and they're going to be trying to find out now. Nah, I don't know who, who she paid off, who she did, who she slept with, and I say she, but this could be he, men, non-binary, I, I don't even care, child, adult, okay? But you can find out the key to your success is positive thinking, okay? And then speaking and, and using your thoughts and your words to manifest what you want, Um a wise one said that manifestation starts in the heart or starts in the soul, in your thought life and in your heart. Like I said, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. Okay? So watch what you take in because it's going to take, it's going to, um, it's going to come out of you as well. Okay. Um, let's do this to clarify this cardamancy read, the Astro Matrix um, Tarot deck to clarify. And I'm honest with you, I saw the Phoenix on, on this box and I thought fire sign, Leo the fire sign. This is how you're going to rise up once you start to change your thinking. Okay. Now, mind you, this is not no fortune telling. I'm not telling you some, some fortune or what will be. I can tell, I'm telling you what could be, and I prefer what you probably already have been thinking. So I'm not out here. I know this is divination. People do divinations by cards. But I'm just confirming what the Holy Spirit has already been telling you. Okay? You may have even heard this in the message. And I know, uh, first of all, 
allow me to call some of y'all Christians out. I'm a Christian as well. You notice when I ended my prayers was in Jesus' name. I know y'all be watching. I know y'all be watching me. And it's okay. I do not judge or condemn you for doing it. Okay? God speaks to everybody. Okay? Okay? He uses me just like he used your pastor. For some of you, you have heard this message at your church. Your pastor has been talking about it. The teacher has been talking about it. You watch it on television. You stream church. You are, they said something similar to this. So I'm just confirming what they've already said. You got the page of cups that came out here. And, and that is, um, you might be getting an announcement of an emotional level. Okay. You may start to, the Holy Spirit said you will see offers come in once you change your thinking and speaking. You will start seeing things move. That's how you're going to get out of there. You're going to, whoo, you're going to see the progress. Okay. Okay. We have the queen of pentacles. Okay. Sitting pretty with your things. I'm telling you, you're going to start manifesting. Okay. You start nurturing your soul and your spirit by speaking positivity over yourself. And thinking positively, like things will work out. When you're faced with a challenge, I'll have the answer. I'll have the money to pay that bill. I have it. I will have it. Okay, I'll get that road. Page of Wands, things is moving. I'm telling you, you're getting out of that mental jail that you've been putting yourself into. You're learning how to manifest using positive thoughts and saying positive words, believing those words that you're saying. Couple of things is, oh, a lot came out. Oh, Jesus. All right, so the Empress card, sitting pretty. You're inspecting. You began to think positive. You speak, began to speak positive. You start to expect positive, and you will get it. Okay, you got the Ace of Swords. You got to cut out that negative thinking. You have the King of Swords. Okay, get your mind together. Again, mastery over your mental. Okay, you control your thoughts. You control your thoughts. You control them, Leo. Okay, and you have the hangman. Okay, um, there may, I'm, I'm hearing that you may have a, a brief experience of kind of like in between two worlds type of experience. Um, that happens. Mm, the Holy Spirit says some more. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. What you need is going to come in. Just keep on believing. Thinking positive, speaking positive. Okay. Three of Cups, celebration. Watch, you'll be celebrated when you realize you got the keys. Okay, stop looking to Jay-Z. He don't got the keys. He have no idea the keys. Not the right keys, not for you. The key for you, thinking positive, believing positive, speaking positive. Okay, six of wands. Taking responsibility. Take responsibility of your thoughts. Watch what you have coming in your eye gate, in your ear gate. Okay, and what do you say to yourself? Okay, the first person that hears what you say is you. Okay, guard your eye gate and your ear gate. That means watch what you're listening to and watch what you're watching. Okay, be more intentional on what you're taking in. That's it. I don't have no more for you. Holy Spirit said, that's it. That's all. I Take, be more careful about what you're taking in. Listen to the words of some of the, your favorite songs that you're watching. Or, or you're listening to or doing TikTok too. That doom, doom, that doom. You know what that song is about? It's about being an alcoholic and a gambler and a person who gambled all his way and, and, and asking his parents to please forgive him for being this way. It sounds good. Doom, that, doom, that, doom. Everybody's doing a little that, 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 that. What are you saying in another person's language? You know? 
What is Kendrick Lamar really saying in They Not Like Us? They Not Like Us, though I really like that song and it's pretty clear what he's saying. Watch what you're taking in. What movies are you watching? What shows are you watching? Are you watching Good Time? Mm -hmm. If you're watching that, you're taking in this image of a black family and that's the way a fam the black family is and that is not the truth. Okay? If you're watching how Real Housewives of Atlanta or Dubai or wherever or whoever they're doing now and love and hip hop and you wonder why your love life is a mess. What are you taking in? Anyway, that's it. That's all. Because I'll start adding stuff to what God had to say and that's all he had to say. Watch what you say. Change your thought thinking. Think, um, change what you believe in. Just change your thinking. Change your believing. Change your speech. That's all I got for you. See you next time. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Go ahead and give me that heart. Say something in the comments. I want to hear on all platforms. Tell me, did this hit home for you? Did you have more? Are you a reader? And you saw something that's like, wait a minute, I also saw that too. And, and maybe the Holy Spirit said something to you. In addition to what I said, okay, and of course, stop just watching me. Go ahead and like, you know you like me. Oh, you know you like me. This is not the first time you came over here and heard what I had to say. Go ahead and like it. Go ahead and follow me. And if by chance, this is just by chance. If you heard something that it would be good for someone else to hear, go ahead and share the video. So anyway, um, thank you and I will see you next time for the reading of the day.